and everything, but fell short of that. This team, now folks looking at him like, hey, Omaha. For season in late March, back in Knoxville, and a swing and a miss, that's two down. Oh, and although the wind's changed a little bit. Seth Halverson, 38 runs batted in. And Wansing starts things off with a strikeout. To the right side. The old ground ball fielded by Boast and mm. there's the strikeout. Yes, sir. And so Coach Lawsnagel was saying he pitched really well. So hey, we're gonna give him a shot here. And so far, so good. So there is some carryover. And so far, he's quieted the bats of the Tennessee Volunteers. Kentucky and Florida. Called strike three. Halverson with another K. That one at 93 miles for South Carolina. And that one misses up. Jack Moss delivers a base hit to the right side. That'll get Haas over to third, and the Aggies have him at the corners with one down. To third, glove there by Denton. He'll go to second. They'll try to turn it, not in time. A run scores. Texas saying it in about front, one to nothing. Anybody try it a third time? Yes. Check swing, and it is a strike, and the inning is over. Ground ball. That one's past Denton out in the left field. So Jordan Thompson with his first hit of the day. Runner goes. From his knees, a throw down, not in time, and another stolen base, the third of the game for Texas A&M. Now yeah, a buck's going to be called. 25. Even with the bag, but the middle infielders are playing back. That'll work. That'll get a run home. RBI for Austin Boast. His 39th of the year, and it's 2-0 Texas A&M. Stolen base, a balk. There's your RBI single right back from whence it came. The ball knuckling as it comes right back into your living room. Ground ball. Gobbled up there by Denton across the diamond, and that'll do it. Wonderful year. I'm not taking anything away from Stanford, but, you know, there's a lot of talk. Well, you know, Stanford should be a top eight national seed. I'm going, well, wait a minute now. Line and gloved. Hunter Haas getting up, making the catch. That's a very uncomfortable at bat. They'll throw it. Actually, they won't throw it. They'll just tag it. Missed him on four straight pitches. That's a big lead, too. Yep, he's going. Yeah. He might be out. Yep. Yep. And Hunter Haas is out. Oof. Basically a double play. Jace Lavalette and his 18 home runs on the year. That one is hit in the air down the line and right. And Burke with his back to the infield makes the basket catch, and the inning is over. Uh, didn't like Tennessee, you know, didn't like Tony's in some ways last year. But I tell you what, I like him. I think he's a cool dude. Something happened. You know, it, it's weird. You get windows to win, and sometimes those windows close on you. He probably just barely made it over the fence. Right? Uh -oh. That one, that one I think is going to make it a long way over the fence. Jace Lavalette getting in on the home run conversation. Wow. <laughs> Do it, freshman. His 19th of the year. We were talking about how hard it was going to be to get one out of here today, and I'll tell you what. Boy, just a breaking ball hanging up in the heart of the plate, and he puts a barrel on this one. His 19th long ball of the year, his 58th RBI. And by the way, he's got two stolen bases on the day, too, just for fun. Talk about half a day as this ball landed out in the pine trees. There's your little ride. They're going to say fair ball, and he's tagged out. That'll be the easiest out of the day for Coffer behind the plate. That quickly. That ball is ripped off the bat of Christian Scott. And that is the first hit of the day.
against Troy Watson. You might pick up your third strikeout against Ahuna. Instead, you get a ground ball out to second base. Boasts over to first, and the inning is over. No hitter is gone, but the three nothing lead still intact. Walk 43 to six. That ball's touched by Jack Moss out to right center. One hops off the wall. Moss will wind up at second base, and we've talked about Jack Moss. He is just a hit machine right now for Texas A&M. Yeah, two for four on the day, a double. And a single earlier, came in hitting 362. And here is Jace Lavalette, who will throw his bat back to the dugout as they will intentionally walk him and put runners at first and second. Oh, they got him picked off. Trying to pick up an extra base. Does not work this time. Tennessee on top of it. Inning is over. A.J. Russell, the freshman, his first taste of the SEC tournament, gives up the double, but then answers the call. Outs to play with. Line, but right at the shortstop, Haas. Line, but right at the third baseman, Warner. Boy, they have barreled up two in a row. It's that kind of day. Yeah, weren't hitting the slider very well at all. And there it is again. Yep. Well, how about your Troy Watson, huh? Minnick, boy, and the rain is really coming down now. And a called strike three. That'll be the first out of the inning. The water's starting to build up on that infield. They're going to take him off the field. Yep. That's unfortunate here in the ninth inning. Get a, a rain delay. We were just humming along. <laughs> Lifted high in the air. Tucker, who came on to pinch hit. Swing and a miss. That's the second out. Ground ball to the left side. Werner across the diamond. And the Aggies have done it. They hold on for the shutout win. Back-to-back -back shutouts. The first time we have had back-to-back -back shutouts to start an SEC tournament in history. That's crazy. Tennessee gets one hit.